Elven Absinthe or Berry Wine from Kionin? Um, All according Skogan says, what antidepressants do you use? Um, the main antidepressant that I use is a, uh, a fundamentally amazing Twitch community that I expose myself from six to eight hours to every day. I have found that that has significantly helped raise my mental feelings, uh, my overall time. awareness, my energy levels. It's pretty great. Um, it's pretty great. Yeah. I highly recommend, uh, I recommend that to you too. Absolutely. If you ever need to just feel better or just get like a, a better appreciation of Follow your life and, and situation, just expose yourself to the coalition community. Six to eight hours a day, every day. You really want to do it every day though. If you do it like once every so often, it doesn't really take. You really have to do it like every day. Um, that really that helps. That is not far. Oh, we can get the booze at the lodge? Ah. Lucas says, I thought you said your I thought you would say your family is your antidepressant. Well, no. My family is my herb. They just make me feel better all the time. Yeah. He specifically said antidepressant. That's different. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go down to We don't need to do anything. Oh, we wanted to talk to the guy here, so we can do that real quick. We should gather our strength. Oh, you know what? No, stop, 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 stop. We're going to take the path we haven't taken. Boop. Oh, of course. Lazne, is the coalition a cult? Nah. Suffering. Coalition is a community. It's very different. Okay. Do not falter. Time to get Ooh. some rest, isn't it? Uh-oh. Uh you forced my hand. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! I'll try to make this swift. This is for you. God, dazzling display is so good. If you not fight back. Knife time. It's knife time, guys. Come here, Bax. Not that stack. Yeah, cults are for kids. We're a community. That's how that works. Cults are for edgy teenagers. Uh okay. Let's keep going. Shoot the pistol? I probably should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boop. It's knife o'clock? Yes, it is. Our church is great. I would agree. Our church is great. We have a pretty in good church. Time. Oh, wait. We're just in a regular thing. We don't need to do anything here. Let's go. Hey, blind demon. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uncle Bumble. You know you want to. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> Boop. All right, there's one thing that a viewer asked me to do earlier in here, and I need to do it. I need to do it. Kerrigan85. Hey, good vibes to you. Good vibes to you, Kerrigan. Oh, time to get some All rest. All right, so what we were asked to do by a viewer is to come over here and talk to the, um, I believe he's right here. And we're going to tell him that unfortunately all the magical stuff that was happening in this area had nothing to do with a silver dragon, but was instead an evil cyclops trapped in a tomb. Whoops. So let's see what's going to happen. As it should be. I tire. Oh! 
I need to tell you something about the fish and the dragon of yours. I know for a fact it was a cyclops kept in a sarcophagus under the lake that caused all the strange occurrences around here. The cyclops is dead now, and the village is safe. The fisher listens intently, his face thoughtful. So what then? The fish won't jump ashore anymore? That's too bad. Can we get another cyclops from somewhere then? Using a thousand-year-old undead cyclops for, for fishing? Baron, you need to order this village surrounded by a palisade and forbid your subjects to come within three arrow flights of it. This is as bad as a plague. Stupidity can be just as infectious, you know. Okay, that was worth it. Thanks. <laughs> that was totally worth I appreciate it. <laughs> I love you, Veloc. <laughs> Baron, have you ever heard of something called the Purge? I believe it might be apt in this case. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, there was a scale option too, but we know that he was just going to brush that off. Mm -mm. Hey, what's up, Fartman? How are you? Good to see you. Oh. Need to catch my breath. Let's go here and get the resources. I know everyone's super tired, but we're going to try to make it back here. That's a weird spot. Okay, everyone's really, really tired. This, this is going to be a rough fight if it's a lot of mobs. A clever ploy. We should gather our strength. Huh. You think you're out. Oh, look at that. Almost all of them ran. Hell yeah. Boop. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Ba-boom, bam, ba-bam, boom, ba-boom. Ba-bam, boom. Beauteous. We got really lucky with this encounter. If it was another, uh, if it was like a cultist encounter or a large bandit encounter, we would have been in a lot of trouble right then. If you click the rest in one of your towns, you don't have to hunt or anything. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Also, neat trick. If you're ever in a town that doesn't have an inn, you can tap the R key to rest there automatically overnight. Oh, Jubilost is way too encumbered to move. Can you play as a female? Absolutely. You could have an entire team of Charlie's Angels style super female weapons if you wanted to. Absolutely. I tire. Yeah, one of the nice things about this game is is I tend to stick to like story related people. Um, I do that in most CRPGs I play. I like playing with characters that are part of the narrative. That's a big deal to me. But for some people it isn't. And one of the beautiful things about this game is you can have an entire party of custom characters if you want to. Um, it's it's very, very cool how they do it. So, yeah, that's totally up to you. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have an estimated campaign length for Kingmaker? If you're, if you're planning on doing everything and planning on getting to the very end of the game with all DLC, you're looking at 150 plus hours. And yes, that is one five zero. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, one hundred and fifty hours for a full playthrough is actually on the light side. So most most folks, rest, including myself, our playthroughs are probably going to be a lot longer. Yep. Is there any way to get Boken to to do his epic item? Or do I just have to get useful? Or, or, excuse me, not useful. Do I just have to get lucky? Like... 
I've done his quest. Um, he does it later. Okay. Would I just get an oil of something? Oh, this. Huh. I mean, that's okay, but it's not... It's not even decent compared to the other stuff we're getting. Let's rest. Okay, so the only quests we have to do is I have to get a rock egg from Talon Peak. And I have to go talk to the Sweet Teeth again. Oh, we gotta talk to Tristian the Captain. All right, first let's talk to Tristian. Thank you for coming. Unfortunately, I have bad news. I managed to find a couple cultists from the Kingdom of the Cleanse. The poor fellows were scared to death, but I'm comforted then and promised not to speak their names. Anyway, they left the capital fearing your wrath. None of them saw the first faithful after that fateful meeting. The scoundrel vanished into thin air, and with him, all meetings, sacraments, and talk of the goddess. It looks like the peculiar power of curses in the Stolen Land is not, in fact, connected to these lunatics. Anyway, ooh, nice. Uh, we managed to get their barkers off the streets, and yesterday's fanatics have returned home to their families and honest work. Thank you for your help, Co. I will not, I will not leave you on my own accord until I repay you for your kindness. Have you heard anything else about them? Not yet. Great. So we are fully caught up with Tristian. Um, let's go in. First of all, let's talk to this guy. I don't think we found anything else, but we'll check. And then we're gonna go to the Hasuf bro. And we are going to talk to him. Uh, and hopefully get some elven absinthe or something. I never had to do this in my last game, so I'm not sure what we're doing. Oh, also we gotta put uh, his the, the breastplate back on Dublast. What class am I playing? I am playing a ranger with a Smilodon pet. I am a longbow focused ranger uh, with the Smilodon. Mm -hmm. How did the devs manage to make this game so big? Two reasons. One, they didn't have to come up with the mechanics. All they had to do was adapt the already existing PNP Pathfinder rule set to their game. So that right there saves them a lot of time. And two, the majority of this game is based on six books for the Pathfinder series. So a lot of the stuff you see in this game was that already pre-written. Now to be fair, Owlcat went through and put in their own stories, their own characters, all sorts of amazing stuff. So Owlcat did a huge amount of work and that is why the game was so buggy on release because they frankly put so much shit in this game that they couldn't put it all in as fast as they wanted to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's this, this game and one of the reasons I absolutely love this game is because it's based on my lead. so much foundational work. Um, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Is there a class you would not recommend for people first starting the game? Um, the only thing I'll say is there's, there are definitely some classes that are more difficult to master than others. So for instance, there's a class called Kineticist that's new. And even I'm still wrapping my head around that one. The second most difficult class I'd say is probably Magus, because Magus is a very unique form of melee spell combat. And then after that, I'd say pretty much any multi-class, because when you multi-class in this game, you kind of need to not only know what you're doing at the time, but you need to have a plan for where your character is going. So also it's important to mention that there is a plethora of spells in this game. So if you want to go spell casting, you're going to be learning a lot of spells, like a lot of spells. Like every rank has like 10 to, to 20 plus spells. Um, yes. So yes, what I'm trying to say is Chad is pointing out Lilu Dallas multi-class. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and sell all of this stuff. We don't have to worry about the emerald anymore. Um... Hmm. What mods am I using? No mods. All vanilla. Uh,
Gotcha. Gotcha. Great. Applause, please. Mozart! Thank you for the stream. No matter what game you play, it is always a treat to watch. Well, that's super nice of you to say. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate your tip. Thank you, thank you. I need another beer for that. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at our quest journal. Oh, let's go. Uh, we may be able to talk to the Sweet Teeth people. Uh, see if we can send them off on another trip. What beer am I drinking? Uh, same beer I drink every day, Pinky. Uh, Blue Moon. Yeah, I've been on a Blue Moon kick for like a year and a half now, about. Oh, that Oleg. Always finding fault with things. We straightened up his fence, painted it, and put some wolves' heads on top to scare off enemies. We even started building a catapult along the wall. Then here he comes, running up, waving his hands, yelling his head off. He doesn't like the color, the heads will attract flies, and it turns out that he wanted to keep the shed that we disassembled to make the catapult. <laughs> he made us put everything back the way it was. Oh, Keon and Berry wine! What? He just gave us what we need for the other person! Well, geez. Uh, let's see if you can complete my task. Oh, go to, you, you can go to Lake Silverstep now because we cleared it out. Uh, take some measurements of Lake Silverstep. I wish to know the exact length of its shoreline. Great. Off you go. And fishing rods. Don't forget your fishing rods. <laughs> what are you thinking, you goof-offs? The most important thing is to take a lot of ropes so we have something to measure with. Grabbing their travel bags, the young tieflings run away. <laughs> Magus D says, a little off topic, but catching up on your outward and ran into the Operencia Anno Epic Store BS. Yeah, I won't be watching or in chat or following anybody streaming any Epic Store exclusives. It's not going to stop unless people actually boycott that. Sorry, Ko, I'll be back after you're done with any Epic Store BS. Magus D, I want to let you know something. If you don't give any money to the Epic Store then you are doing everything in your power as a consumer to not give them the benefit of that money. However, if you continue to watch me and you watch me play the game that you would have bought on Epic Store, you're not only not giving them your money, you're also giving them the finger. So what you should be doing is you should be watching everything I play on Epic Store and that way, you never have to give them any money. And we both win. But also, I mean, full disclosure, dude. Not watching someone play a game on Epic Store has nothing to do with, like, like, that's a connection that doesn't make any sense. I understand people not buying on Epic because they don't want to deal with the consumerism. But not watching people playing games on Epic? That only hurts us. Epic does not give half a shit about that. That's like saying, um, I don't believe in the Epic store, so I'm gonna stop drinking beer. Okay. Um, you could do that, but Epic's not gonna give a shit. Um, so, yeah. Um, just, just saying, like, vote with your money, but in due time. You really, like, if you're trying to sabotage my viewer count to show Epic that people don't want to watch your games, that's not really going to help anyone. Um, yeah. Anyway, but do whatever you want to do. I mean, that, that that's my opinion on it, but you do whatever you want to do. If, if you feel better be. not watching me, that's more important. If you personally feel that by not watching me, you will be promoting anti-epic consumerism I'm okay with that you do you do whatever you need to do man that's cool yeah and, and I'm, I'm totally serious right now I'm not trying to I'm not being sarcastic like that's totally fine <laughs> that's totally cool you do you 
do, 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 do. And for the record, guys, don't give him any shit. Like, that's... We respect opinions here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Skick7 says, I disagree. Vote with money and also don't support streamers who buy. I won't watch people play Satisfactory or Hades. I drop out of your stream when it was on. Okay. I, I, I will agree to disagree. I don't I think the only person you're hurting that by doing that is me, not the Epic Store. But again, we'll agree to disagree. That's totally cool. And again, if, if that makes you feel better, that's what's the most important thing. Um that's okay. And again, please don't argue otherwise, chat. If that's how they want to do it, that's totally cool. I, I, I am not arguing otherwise, so we shouldn't have to do that. That's fine. This is a very interesting and unique time with the Epic Store. There's not like a lot of normal situations we can compare this to. So, respect opinions. Uh, okay. Apparently something is going on here. Really? Really? Why is there an exclamation point here? Mm -mm. All the lanterns are out. The rains have soaked the torch, making it completely useless. Okay. <laughs> is that what I came here to check? That the torches are wet? Because they're wet. We've confirmed it. Um, that is not far. Okay. I think that's okay. We're good. All right. Good talk. Good talk. <clears throat> Cedric One says, well, technically he's got a point. By playing Epic Store games, you're advertising their games if you want it or not. Th that is true to a degree. But the important thing that I find in my side is that I'm not encouraging you to buy in the Epic Store. For instance, if you buy outward on the Epic Store, I have a code that I can give you to give me credit. But you're not going to hear me mention that on my Outward streams unless someone specifically asks for it. I don't put in my title, buy this product on the Epic Store with code CO to get me credit. Like, I don't I don't talk about that. Because again, I don't want to make people think that I'm promoting the Epic Store. So another way to look at that is by watching the streamer play the game you were going to buy, then you are instead needing to not buy it yourself, which is a very common thing on Twitch. So... I, I, there's there's two there's two sides to that. There's two sides to that. So, yeah. Does it give you a deal with the code? No, not at all. It gives you zero, zero deals or anything. Yep. Is that word on Steam as well? It definitely is. Absolutely. And if you want to get it there, do it. Please do. I would much rather you get what you want and you be happy about it than get me credit for a sale. I, that's the last thing I care about. So, yeah. Um, we need to go to Talon's Peak. We need to go to Town Speak. I don't know how to get there, though. I, maybe we have to go down this way? Um, Like around here? That's going to take forever, though. What else do we need to do? That one's still going on. We're waiting for her. We're waiting for him. Take care of the Fae. It turns out it's... A band of fae from the nearby forest that's to blame for all the misfortune. It's high time these tricksters were paid a visit. To get Inubrax. Oh, and we gotta bring Mim the Absence, so we can do that now. Um, and maybe we'll try to look at the rock stuff over here at the same time. Uh, so let's go over to the Mim... Wait, I have 14 days for the Mim quest? No, I don't. There's no time limit there. Now we're good. Hmm. Ring song. That's honestly kind of my opinion too. But I, again, I'm not. I'm not here to put that on other people. I'd much rather people decide for themselves than you know just hear my opinion and agree with it. Cosman, does the code work retroactively? No, but I appreciate the thought. It's nice of you to say. Need to catch my breath. All right, let's give Mim the stuff here. The part after the wine for here is where you're time restricted? Have a moment of rest oh my. Okay. Save it. Nope. Not not tired. Legs oh, weak. Stomach empty. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna save it without resting. Here we go. 
If you hover Talon's Peak, it shows the path. Really? Shake the bottle. Look what I've got. The girl has an eager gleam in her eyes. Oh, I've been waiting for so long. Thank you so much, Co. Uh, I mean, your grace. Oh, she took the berry wine. She didn't even take the damn absinthe. I have to admit, I have no idea what my third wish should be. I'll tell you as soon as I come up with something. Now, if you excuse me, Art can wait. Oh. What about your third wish? You haven't come up with one, have you? Not yet. You can't rush the delicate movements of the soul. I can feel it growing within me, and that's all for now. Oh. In due time. Oh, I have to wait. Well, I guess I'll drink myself. Alright, let's see if we can go up to Talon's Peak. I need to catch my breath. Would you say this is one of the longest games you've ever played? Uh, I mean, no. Not, I mean, I'm, you're talking to a guy that led MMO guilds for 10 years and plays Warframe and PoE. So, yeah. <laughs> Not really. Um, oh, look at that! You're right! Wow, it does show it. That's pretty cool. So we have to go that way. Um, what happens if we go up this way? Can I... Can I, like, get around the other direction? Um... Eh, let's just do it. We'll just do it. Whatever. I tire. Speaking of which, how close are these things to being built? Hold on. We need, we need to get into our kingdom interface. Here we go. Wait for Mim to do Talon? What do you mean, wait for Mim? I, I'm just... He has to tell me stuff. Five days. Five days, nine days, and two... Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. So it's, it's all still being built. Uh, we're 54 divine now. We lost a divine? When do, where do we lose a divine? Okay. Whoops. Um. So wait. To, for Mim's next quest, is she going to give that to me in the town? Should I go back to here? We should uh -oh. gather our strength. Let's go back and see if we can get Mim to say hi or something. Oh. Oh. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, we can rank up someone real quick. That's fine. We can do that. All right. Let's rest here. Save it first. Just in case. And I think we'll rank up an advisor. Build teleportation circles on your cities to teleport. I can't do that yet. I, I can't build any teleport stuff yet. Not yet. Soon, though, hopefully. But not yet. Did I rank up my curse guy yet? Yes, my curse guy is rank three. Yep. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Lindsay? There's a commotion in the village by Lake Silverstep. An artisan you know has gone missing. A local shepherd saw her walking with a backpack towards Talon Peak. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Okay. Well, that is awesome. I guess we won't be doing what I was wanting to do. Um, let's go get Mim. <laughs> Oh, actually, better yet, uh, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get Mim first thing tomorrow. 